Vibismo is different from other treatments. Here's how it works. In healthy eyes, blood vessels nourish each eye with blood. In wet AMD, DME, and macular edema following RVO, there are two types of proteins that can lead to leakage and swelling in the eye. These two proteins are called VEGF and ANG2. These proteins allow abnormal blood vessels to grow, swell, and leak fluid, which can lead to damage in the eye and possible vision loss. Other treatments target VEGF, but Vibismo is thought to block both types of proteins. Vibismo is the only treatment thought to block both types of proteins to help reduce abnormal blood vessel swelling, help reduce leaking fluid, and help reduce blood vessel growth. Vibismo, the only FDA-approved treatment that is thought to block both VEGF and ANG2 in wet AMD, DME, and macular edema following RVO. Indications and important safety information. What is Vibismo? Vibismo Farisimab SVOA is a prescription medicine given by injection into the eye used to treat adults with neovascular, wet age-related macular degeneration, AMD, diabetic macular edema, DME, and macular edema following retinal vein occlusion, RVO. Do not receive Vibismo if you have an infection in or around your eye. Have active swelling around your eye that may include pain and redness. Are allergic to Vibismo or any of the ingredients in Vibismo. What is the most important information I should know about Vibismo? Injections like the one for Vibismo can cause an eye infection, endophthalmitis, separation of layers of the retina, retinal detachment, or inflammation in the eye that can lead to vision loss. Call your healthcare provider right away if your eye becomes red, sensitive to light, or you have a change or loss of vision. Vibismo may cause a temporary increase in pressure in the eye, intraocular pressure, which occurs within 60 minutes after receiving the eye injection. Although not common, Vibismo patients have had serious, sometimes fatal, problems related to blood clots, such as heart attacks or strokes, thromboembolic events. In clinical studies for wet AMD during the first year, 7 out of 664 patients treated with Vibismo reported such an event. In clinical studies for DME from baseline to week 100, 64 out of 1,262 patients treated with Vibismo reported such an event. In clinical studies for RVO during 6 months, 7 out of 641 patients treated with Vibismo reported such an event. Severe inflammation of vessels in the retina has happened for patients treated with Vibismo. Call your healthcare provider immediately if you experience a change in vision. Before receiving Vibismo, tell your healthcare provider about all of your medical conditions, including if you are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. Based on how Vibismo interacts with your body, there may be a potential risk to your unborn baby. You should use birth control before your first injection, during your treatment with Vibismo, and for three months after your last dose of Vibismo. If you are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed, it is not known if Vibismo passes into your breast milk. Talk to your healthcare provider about the best way to feed your baby if you receive Vibismo. If you are taking any medications, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements, tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take. What should I avoid while receiving Vibismo? Your vision may be impaired after receiving an eye injection or after an eye exam. Do not drive or use machinery until your vision has recovered sufficiently. What are the most common side effects with Vibismo? The most common side effects with Vibismo were cataract and blood on the white of the eye, conjunctival hemorrhage. These are not all the possible side effects of Vibismo. Call your healthcare provider for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. You may also report side effects to Genentech at 1-888-835-2555. Please see the Vibismo full prescribing information for additional important safety information.